Hello everyone, we are from Sri Lanka. I am Gayan. I am Ayomi. I am Tiruni. We have made a small video clip. This is a part of an interview with the Executive Director of Sri Lanka Rainwater Harvesting Forum. So we thought to share the story between you all. Our resource person is Dr. Ms. Tanuja Aryananda. She is a hydrobiologist with a PhD from University of Kalania, Sri Lanka. And she obtained an MSc in Aquatic Resource Management from King's College, London. Uh, she is a director of Lanka Rainwater Harvesting Forum since its inception in 1996. Yes, Lanka Rainwater Harvesting Forum is a non-governmental organization, non-profit making also. Um, we started in 1996 very informally. Um, there was a group of interested people who wanted to promote the concept of rainwater harvesting. Um, initially, mainly for the domestic purposes uh, in Sri Lanka. So um, then. At that stage, this group who were who were represented in government institutions, business institutions, uh, some private organizations, or some private individuals who was interested in this idea. Mm -hmm. So we uh, initially thought we'll look at what the response from the uh, countries or people who are already uh, practicing or want to know more. Mm -hmm. So we put some advertisement in the papers. Okay. and uh, got asked people to write on um, their experience or whether they want or was interested in promoting it or if they have some their practical experience. Mm -hmm. And the response we got was very tremendous. So mm -hmm. we got a lot of replies from them. Mm -hmm. um, these advertisements were put in all three languages, okay. which is spoken in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And um, so by from this response we thought of forming a association mm -hmm. to support this group who mm -hmm. wants to more, mostly some some of these people who wrote had some ex, small scale experience mm -hmm. some of them has done some research mm -hmm. some of them most of them want to know more about the technologies and methodologies mm -hmm. so we formed into a uh, official uh, forum and mm -hmm. registered ourselves that was in 1997 Basically, two, there's two methods. One is uh, you collect from the roof yeah. area. Yeah. Uh, the other is you collect from the surface water. Yes. So, mainly collecting from the roof area you use for domestic purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, the other is you collect from the surface water. Yes. So, mainly collecting from the roof area you use for domestic purposes. Mm -hmm. For uh, run, uh, surface runoff you can use for different aspects like uh, for instance, for agriculture purposes mm -hmm. or for recharging purposes. Mm -hmm. So, what you what I mean by recharging, you retain the water rather than letting it run off. Mm -hmm. You retain the water in the ground itself. Mm -hmm. right? uh, there are various methods you can do it by actually artificially recharging the ground waters mm -hmm. by sending the surface runoff directly mm -hmm. to the ground water table through mm -hmm. some filter. Okay. Basically, uh, urban areas, most of the urban areas uh, in many cities mm -hmm. uh, has pipe water supply. Yes. So, I mean in Colombo I think hundred, almost 100%, mm -hmm. nearly 100% we have pipe water. Mm -hmm. So, for drinking purposes, it is not necessary to provide by yes. rainwater. Mm -hmm. um, but, since in domestically if you look at only about 10% of the water we use is UV for drinking, mm -hmm. uh, even less. Mm -hmm. So balanced water we use for domestic purposes is for non-drinking purposes. Yes. So which I feel that we don't need pristine quality water for that. So yes. we can apply rainwater harvesting, mm -hmm. rainwater collection for these purposes. Mm -hmm. For example, toilet brushing, gardening, washing mm -hmm. cars, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Actually, by doing that, we should should be able to cut down much on water uh, bill. Uh, bill as yes, well. Yeah. Especially if you are in a higher uses, because you get charged for uh, yes, yes. higher high rate. Mm -hmm. um, the main uh, drawback for uh, introducing rainwater collection in, in urban areas is space. 
especially in uh, urban areas, we it's houses are very close together. We don't have mm -hmm. common space in the garden. Mm -hmm. So, so in locating the rainwater tank is a problem. Mm -hmm. So, you, but if you uh, design the uh, house uh, mm -hmm. and design a system initially, mm -hmm. you can incorporate the rainwater system very easily yes. by uh, you know uh, by the side of the house or you locate it on, on the upper floor so we can use it from gravity etc. Yes. And mm -hmm. also you the pipe system you can uh, incorporate uh, yes. especially yes. for yes. this purpose. Mm -hmm. Uh, so those are the main things mm -hmm. uh, in the urban areas. Mm -hmm. um, urban areas has an added advantage by uh, using rainwater. You can reduce the flooding levels also, uh, yes. because this is a problem in many cities that yes. face. And Colombo, mm -hmm. as you know, yes. half an hour's rain mm -hmm. it will flood the whole thing because yes. we are almost covered all our surfaces with yeah. either concrete or tar. Mm -hmm. So there is no place for water to go in, and then. Uh, the drains are not adequate, so they get blocked or mm -hmm. it gets flooded. Mm -hmm. But if you have a collection system, even at a, in a small scale, mm -hmm. you can reduce, I mean, say, yes. 10 houses ha collect one or two liters yeah. at least, it will reduce that amount of water. Yeah. So this is a good example for mm -hmm. uh, urban areas. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, actually, just near here, uh, Near we, uh -huh. uh, by the side of the railway bridge, we selected uh, some houses mm -hmm. and we use, uh, introduced the cons uh, uh, mm -hmm. some technologies there. Uh, they don't have a yes. type mm -hmm. brand, they have a common, common one. Yes. Okay. They use the wells around that area, and obviously, when, the, when there's rain, the wells, there's no like sewage system, there's a well skit highly polluted, then they can't use the water at all. Mm -hmm. So we introduced the rainwater system, it was very successful there. Mm -hmm. Only problem we had was the, the roof area, because these mm -hmm. were very small uh -huh. houses. So either their roofs were not large enough, mm -hmm. or the roofs, the materials were not in good quality. Mm -hmm. But they themselves came with a solution for that problem in a, in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, they used the uh, houses which are adjacent to their <laughs> <places>. <laughs> so, One was actually school. Uh -huh. They used the roof of the school uh -huh. uh, nearby uh -huh. and connected a gutter and got okay. the water out from there. So that was, that was very <laughs> interesting, yes. Yes, especially uh, during the after the tsunami, uh -huh. where most of the uh, wells around the coastal areas got contaminated mm -hmm. with saline water. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Fifty thousand wells uh, got contaminated throughout the coastal line, mm -hmm. where people in this area used to about sixty percent of them used to use the wells, mm -hmm. so the water supply for them was cut off. Mm -hmm. um, it, even if after the government did uh, sort of rebuild the pipeline, mm -hmm. some of them were located in interior, in interior house yes. places. Mm -hmm. So the facilities were not available for them initially. Mm -hmm. We will introduce rainwater harvesting tanks and we build rainwater tanks to mm -hmm. the new houses, uh, about 3,000 in the southern coast, about 1,000 mm -hmm. in the east. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was uh, like a stopgap. Mm -hmm. uh, for them because they immediately collect uh, water. Mm -hmm. Some of them of course later got their pipe supply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In those places we introduce using the rainwater for home gardening purposes. Mm -hmm. So then they don't have to tax on the water bills. They yeah. can use this uh, for home gardening. Mm -hmm. But most houses still use for drinking purposes mm -hmm. uh, because the water supply has not got to their places yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know when they will ever do. But uh, and the wells are still contaminated, they can't use yes. the water, so it was a very good emergency measure. Yeah, emergency. Um, and also for, it's a, um, if you collect rainwater in, in urban buildings, especially mm -hmm. in uh, fire prone, prone areas, mm -hmm. um, you can, it's a large amount of water you can store, either you can use it or you can use yes. it as an as a emergency measure. We have had supports from a lot of international organizations as well as local organizations. 
Um, the tsunami projects was funded by Maltesa International and UNICEF. We have also got some funds from the Canadian CEDA for this home gardening project. Um, some for research, we got some grants from the European Union.